I felt very confident from my Manchester interview, so I was really very confident. I was like, yeah, I've got this. Um, I really wanted to go to Premier League as well because it, it was London. I really wanted to live the London life, basically. Um, and so I, <laughs> I went to the interview. I was feeling very confident. And then once I went into that little state, that little room, um, I sat down, and they asked me about that research question. My brain just shut down. Like, just I, I couldn't remember anything. I just shut down, and I, I was just stammering. I was like, uh, uh, I, I would just shut down literally. And uh, you know the windows. Windows shut down sound thing. It was like that. My brain just took a vacation. Like was like, bro, no. I struggled my way through that question. I crawled through that question. It was so hard. And then when he actually started asking, you know, the medicine questions, like why, why do you want to do medicine and stuff like that, man, I just couldn't. I could, I just couldn't recover from that first question. So it hit me hard. And yeah, so I basically flopped that interview. Like I just flopped really hard. Um, and I, I don't blame them for not giving me an offer at all. Like I wouldn't give me an offer. Like. I, I wouldn't give me an offer just because I just felt like it would, it would just crap basically. In my head I was just banking on Manchester to give me an offer. And yeah, they did. And I was so happy about that because obviously again it was another confidence booster. It just showed that it just made me feel more confident about getting into medicine and just made me feel that I was good enough. Um, to get in. So the next stage of the journey to medical school is your actual exams, you know, so you, you've gotten the offer but now you need to pass the exams to, to get into medical school. And now, like I said before, the IV is hard. It was just hard for me. Because obviously we're doing six subjects so you can imagine how much revision we had to do. Um, and yeah, so just loads of revision and I remember it was very stressful for me. I, I, I got fat. Um, I, I got a twitch in this eye, like it would always twitch. I was so stressed. I was so stressed that I actually had like physiological symptoms of like of the stress. So I, I had a twitch in this eye and it just wouldn't go away. And I got stressed because I had that twitch and it, it just made me more stressed. It was just it was just crazy. Um so I got through the exa exam period in the IB um and and yeah, so I just had to wait for a results there. So this is where I met another obstacle. Right, getting to Manchester, I needed to get 38 points. Right now, the IB is split into higher and standard subjects, so three higher and three standard subjects. Right, for Manchester, I had to get seven points in one of my higher subjects, and overall, I had to get 38 points. Right, so my results came on results day, I think it was May, I don't remember, I don't remember the month, or, and I got 30, I got 38 points. I was happy, right. But I didn't get the seven points I needed for my higher subjects, and it was like, oh my god, what did I do now? It was very, um, it was very surreal. Obviously, my confidence had been built up from, you know, getting the interview to getting the offer, and I you know, obviously I felt very confident in myself. And obviously, the results that came and it just like literally just crashed, just literally brought my confidence really that like just brought my confidence down. I just felt like it was I, I basically flopped. I missed out on the offer because obviously. I didn't. I didn't make the grade. I didn't make that like seven points in that higher subject. Um, this was the year um, where you could get into medicine through clearance. I think. I think one one university was get taking people through clearance. And I think that was um, Plymouth. Yeah, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So I called them up and I was like, um, can I go for an interview? And they looked and they. I think they they looked at my GCSE grades and they you, they had to do some calculation thing. But basically, yeah, they. I wasn't good enough to get into. To get the interview for them like uh, for the next day um so that was really hard so i just basically felt like you know i failed manchester didn't accept me um they told me to wait for a level results day so a level results day was i think in august and I, I got my results in may i think i had to wait for like for about four months to <laughs> to, to for a level results to come out and yeah, I was really hard. For those four months, I just didn't know what I was doing in my life. It might, like, it was just really hard to do anything. I was always thinking about, you know, getting to medicine. I, I seen all my friends get into medicine and it was just so difficult. Um, and yeah, that was probably the hardest few months. And I couldn't enjoy my holiday because it was like, holiday happened and I, I, just, I just couldn't enjoy the holidays because of the results. There was just tension in the house. Like, like it was, everyone was just like, everyone was just tense like about my future basically so it was just tense around the house um my mom my dad my brother yeah it was just 
yeah it was a very interesting experience so it was august and it was a level results day right and that day was probably the scariest day i was so scared um i remember just i didn't want to open any results or look at ucas or anything so that morning as you do i went to the toilet to do my business as you do um and i you know i was on the toilet seat and i was scrolling up and i was i think i was on snapchat the way snapchat was to pop in <laughs> but i was on snapchat and someone someone put on their snapchat like they go into uni um they put they they snap their ucas page and that just hit me hard as well because i was like oh my days i'm not gonna get into uni um, i really flopped i know i'm i know manchester haven't accepted me so um yeah i was just going through that process and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna check my my ucas um just in case you know you never know so i, I you know on my phone check my ucas and i and it took a while for it to sink in, but I looked and it was like, you've not been accepted to get into, to get into, going to Manchester, oh my God. I was so happy. Like, I, I can't even describe, it. I think the biggest, like the first thing I experienced was like, just relief. I was like, like, I could just feel this tension just leave me. I, I was so happy and fam, that toilet break, that toilet session was the quickest toilet session I ever had. Cause I was, I just literally was wiping my bum. <laughs> I just wiped my ass and I just quickly ran. I just quickly like ran out um, and showed my and obviously I washed my hands because that's kind of dirty. But <laughs> I washed my hands and, and I showed my dad my phone and just showed him that I got in. And my mom wasn't at my mom wasn't at home. She was doing a night shift. She was at work. So I called her. I told her I got in. And yeah, it was all it was just all blessed. And it was everyone was just really happy. I was just happy that everything just paid off. All the yeah, everything just paid off at the end and I actually go into medicine. The whole point of my story is obviously just to share my experience with you guys, but to also to oh, like inspire someone to just believe in themselves. Now, I know my story is not even, my, my story is not even crazy. Like there, there, there's people that I know of and there's people's stories that you hear of that they've had to like apply like three times to get into medical school. And those are the guys, those are the real guys with like really crazy stories and, um, and take inspiration from people like that because the people the, the people out there who have really like had to fight to get into medicine because they know what they want in and out of life yeah so i just want to encourage those guys trying to get into medicine at, at this moment or applying i understand how you feel and you'll get through it even if you don't get in first time and just try again if you really want to do medicine you will try again and you get it you and i'm sure you'll do better you just learn from your experience from the interviews from from yeah from everything and i'm sure that you will do well yeah so that is my little encouragement yeah i just believe in you guys um so i think i'm done talking <laughs> okay so i hope this video was really helpful for you guys does anyone have any um interesting interview or medicine stories so put it in the comments below like i said i want to build like a, just a nice community um where we can help each other if you are applying to medicine for the first time or for the second or how many times you're applying let's just put in the comments and just let us know um how, how you're coping with that um and i would just love to talk to you guys and just you know just hear your experiences hear anyone's stories that um uh, about getting to medicine if there's any medical students i'm um, watching this video just comment below and also just help out anyone who's i'm um, trying to get into medical school because we all know how how hard it was so um yeah okay it's still weird for me to do this youtube sign off thing but um yeah i'm gonna do, <laughs> have to do it you have to do it anyway okay so if you like this video um, um like the video um and subscribe um also and also turn on the notification bell to so you know when i upload a new video yeah i think that's all from me um so yeah subscribe and see you guys later my name is Sam and I'm a third year medical student. Ah, ka ka ka. Okay, three. Three, two, one. Action. Okay, hi everyone, my name is Sam and I'm a medical student. Ah, ka ka ka. That's so annoying. Ugh. Okay, hi everyone, my name is Sam and I'm. Ah, my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> I did it again. Okay. Mm. Aim for this video is to basically just inspire someone um, to. You're joking with me. <laughs> oh my god. This introduction thing is so mad. <laughs> oh wow, okay. I've got three A stars, four A's, one B and one C. Um interruptions. And where okay. 
Okay, so we reached those grades. I was able to get into uh, grammar school. I was able to get into us. Ah, this life is atrocious. Like, there was no good way for me to practice it and rehearse it. To revise, so with me, I, I'm, I'm more of a, I'm, uh, so in my head, back of my, in my, back of my mind, I felt like, mm, damn, Jesus Christ, obstacle, big obstacle, this is right, so, uh, cut, so it was August and it was A-levels results, ah, uh, cut, man, okay, so I hope this interview, oh, interview, okay, so I hope this video was really help, helpful for you, ah, uh, mm, mm. Sam, Samuel, Sam.